Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone first, 8 points for aid. I have a lot of bingo-y tiles, but the triplicate T and the U probably means I don't have a bingo. I have the out prefix, but out tent isn't good. Now there are some bingos with three T's. Do I have one? I've also got the un prefix, but untotted isn't good. Don't have the letters for auto-tune. Okay, I don't have a bingo, so I need to resolve this rack. Now, aid takes, of the letters I've got, takes an E after it. And I certainly want to play off a U and two Ts. So do I have a word with two Ts and E and a U? This is a harder rack to resolve than I was expecting. I can't even play Tut without getting a miserly score. Well, what about Tote? Retaining the U is softened by having the N. This is a good vowel consonant balance. And I think it's the best I can do. Great. I draw a blank. I have tourney, which plays in rows G and I. Aid only takes a W in front. I'm looking to see if I've got any uh, a bingo through any other letters. I think nuttery is good. I'm not sure of that, though. Good bingo by my opponent. Has he blocked tourney? No, he hasn't. It plays in row J, making ant and iso. And that places a Y on a triple letter square, so that's pretty good. I'm wondering if I have a double-double through the I of Caymans. So word ending I-T-Y, for example. What about unverity? I think that's good. don't think there's much point in trying to find a better double-double. This looks pretty good. The only problem with this would be if it wasn't valid. Let's find out. If that stays on, I've got a non bingo rack. Ouch! Not good. Okay. Should have taken the points with Turney, the bingo that I was sure of. which fortunately remains available. This is not going to score as much as Unverity, but does have the advantage of being good. 74 points. Ooh, terrible rack. No vowels, VW. Is it bad enough to change? Probably not quite. I can play Drown in row F through the O of Tote. That's just been blocked. Now what about the OI combination in column 5? Certainly need to play off one of the V and the W. And then there's the E of Tourney. Okay, none of those are working. I'm going to change my tiles. I'm going to retain the R, because that's a bingo -y tile. I see no merit in retaining anything else. That's pretty good. I have Labourer, which would also make Labourer through a U. Cow takes an S in front, nothing else. 
and Labourer does not play, which is a shame. Through an A, I would have Arboreal. So, what floaters do I have? Not many. There's the E and the Y of Tourney. There's also the N of Tourney, because A takes an R after it. I don't have a bingo through that. So, do I have a bingo through the E of Tourney? Can't see one, and I can't see one through the Y either. So, what to do? I like keeping the E of Tourney available. I am behind, so I want to open up bingo lanes. It's good that Cow takes an S in front. And Ant takes the E, so there are bingo lanes on this board. What about Carob down here? Carbo's site's slightly better in terms of not placing a vowel next to a double letter square. 18 points, L-E-R. Not great, I'd rather be getting rid of the L as well. Can I do that? What would be the best rack leave? Very difficult. I think I will play Carbo. Score's pretty good and the leave isn't disastrous. That is not great, and I'm about 50 points behind. I'm looking to see if I have anything through the O of Carbo. Don't think I do. I don't have any scoring tiles, and I have duplicates, and I've got the LR combination, which isn't good. Great F challenge by my opponent. He loses five points. I'm only 44 points behind now. I'm looking to see if I do have a bingo through the floaters of Tourney, but I can't see one. I've now also got a D to go on the end of Aid. V, V-A-E takes a U in front. Now, how to resolve this rack. I could play Roulette at I-13 down. The rack leave of red is good. I don't think Roulette takes an S at the end. Can I do anything better? What's bad about roulette is that it places an E next to a double word square and it doesn't score very much. Only 12 points, which is pretty poor. Wow. Not easy at all. I'm wondering if I can play underneath Tourney and parallel to it. Which I can do. I could play Reed, but then the rack leave of LRT is dreadful. Well, Roulette may not be so bad because I do have a spot for a bingo ending with an S because of the cow front hook. And Red is a good rack leave. Grouped and UV. Splendid. I have a bingo in column one. And surely that's unlikely to be blocked. 
Now that would bring me right back into this game. Is there anywhere else where grouped plays? I don't think there is, so it's quite a vulnerable bingo. And I don't think it makes any seven letter words. So what I'm hoping for is that my opponent does not block grouped and that he doesn't score a huge amount elsewhere. Anxious moments of waiting. Great. Not blocked. Fantastic. And I'm playing this uh, quite quickly. I'm pretty sure it's the only playable bingo on the board. So I will be stopping my clock from running down too much. So grouped and UV. 93 points. Fantastic. And I draw the J, which is a good scoring tile. I don't get many vowels to go with it. But I'm right back in this game now. I'm, only, oh, I'm 23 points ahead. I may well be behind after my opponent plays. It's neck and neck. And I have the S for going in front of cow. But there are two S's and one blank unseen. So what I'm looking for now is a really good spot to play my J. And jokey is good. I think that's playable with or without an E. So that would be a nice way of hopefully scoring well and leaving a decent rack leave. But I'm not sure it plays anywhere. 37 points for my opponent. Now pink is good. So setting aside the J. Do I have a play? Well, Piney is also good. I can play York. Wow, York. That is going to score massively. Well, fairly well for a non-bingo play. Let's have a look. 58 points. And the Rapley with JNS, pretty good. Now, can I do better than that? Z does take an O underneath it. But I can't see a play beginning at 08, ending, for example, O-N-Y or O-S-Y. I can't see a play beginning with a K underneath pin. Great, 58 points. I do draw an A and an O to go with my J and I get another 5 point penalty so I now have a 49 point lead I don't have a great rack in terms of bingoiness but I do have scoring tiles and I've got a couple of vowels to play with now in terms of resolving this rack the problem is that I need to get rid of the J, the F and the V and I can't see a way of getting rid of two of those well, not on, not on the board as it stands. There was an A, I could play Java. Now, the Z does take an A and an O underneath it. So I could play Nova. Thirty-two points. I certainly want to keep the score rolling along. I'm only fifteen points ahead. That's not a particularly dangerous spot. I can't see a way of playing my J in that spot. This isn't a huge score. It would be nice to play off the F as well. But I think the F goes better with the J than the V, although in truth neither of them goes well. 32 points. I draw a second S, which is fairly neutral in terms of how it benefits my rack, but it's good in the sense that it means it's less likely that my opponent's going to bingo in row C. And I have an I for going after the Q. I'm looking to see where I can play my J, but I don't have any short words on my rack. It would be nice to place the J on the triple letter square at N6. 
I don't have any two or three letter words. Now I could play Jess at C10, burning both S's and killing that bingo lane. This is a non bingo y board. So if I have a lead, that might be a way of retaining it. To score over 30 points, it would leave FIH, so I would have scoring tiles and a vowel to play them. Now I could play FEH at N6 across. I'm looking at the tiles that are left. How bingo-y are there? Are they? Not hugely. Three E's left. Now I have got an H for going after the C of cow. But I don't have anything to go after. Well, I have the E for going after two. I can't see a play beginning on the double word square, so that's not going to score very much. So what I'm thinking about doing is this. Twenty-four points, that's not huge. Would it be better to play Jess? I'm twenty-five points ahead. I'm keeping an eye on this three eyes unplayed. This doesn't feel best at all. Well, what about fishes? This F isn't particularly dangerous in row A. I'm retaining the J for score. And it scores 43 points. I think that's worth worth doing. And I'm in the lead and playing six tiles helps to expedite the end of the game. My opponent's likely to try and take out the F in row A, but he'll probably won't score very much doing it. And if he doesn't take it out, I can use it for score. And, I, and also in playing fishes, I'm taking out the row C bingo lane, which was the really dangerous one. Now I do have vowels to go with my J. Juga is good. I'm initially just seeing what's on my rack. Now I can play, uh, well I can play GJU in row N, placing the J on that triple letter square at N6. So that'll be good. That'll be nearly 30 points. I'm 68 points ahead. I don't quite have jug full in row A. I would need, an, I need another U. And Fuji doesn't fit in. Row B is quite hot through the eye of fishes. Great. My opponent's drawn to blocking that for a miserly score. I'm wondering if I can place my J at B10 and going through, going through the eye of fishes and get that doubled for a huge score. That's not going to happen. Because I don't have a tile which goes underneath the O apart from the I. So, do I have anything better than GJU? That keeps double AIL, which is pretty awful. There's a lot of vowels to come, so I could have a very vowely rack. Now, what about just playing JA across here? 38 points, that's a, a better score and a better vowel consonant rack leave. Now JAI is also good, and that does play at N6. 30 points. How many tiles are left? 11 in the bag. So 
So jar for 38 or J for 30. I think I prefer the extra points. Wow, I draw the blank. I wasn't expecting to see that. So do I have a bingo? Are there any bingo lanes? Column 3 is a bingo lane for bingos ending IE or IS. Well, maybe I've got one of those. I don't have anything with the blank as an S. With the E on my rack. Lingui. Okay, that doesn't work. Doesn't have an I in the right spot. Any other bingo lanes? Well, column, sorry, row N is a possibility. Carbo takes a number of hooks including an N, an S, and a Y, and possibly only those. So unagile doesn't quite fit. An anagram of lingui. I'm going to mentally run through the alphabet for the blank. Actually, I'm not going to do it mentally. I'm going to do it this way. Haven't seen anything yet. Oops. Ligule, that doesn't go anywhere. Unagile considered, lingui. Eulogia, ooh, doesn't quite work. Gia isn't good. That looks like there may be something there, but I can't see it. Glutei. Nope, that doesn't play. Okay, I can't see a bingo in column three. I'm, I've got a pretty good lead, 68 points. I've only got four minutes on the clock. There are eight tiles in the bag, so I can't linger. So what should I be doing? Certainly playing off the U. Where can I do that? Huh. If Carbo takes an L after it and Glutei does play in row A and I've just seen that. Just not sure on Carbo. I don't think it's good. I've only got three and a half minutes so time is running out. I'm wondering if I can place my G under JA down here. But I'd like to play off the U as well. Oh well I could just play um, Gore. That's not bad. It's retaining the E in the blank which is good for G3 after GI. And it scores 23 points. I don't think I have a bingo here. Mixedly I think is good but doesn't play and I may be confusing that with fixedly. I've got just over three minutes on the clock and I've got a 90 point lead. And I could just play the X at M9 onto the E of Brangle making 17 points because then the tiles that are left are pretty bingo-y. But maybe I should be looking for a non-bingo play in row 3 to play off the X and score well. Can't see a way of doing that with playing the blank but uh, this is probably a time when I should play the blank because if I do have such a play, if I do have a play in column 3 then I won't have the opportunity to bingo. GI takes a D after it. Now Limaxed is not good. Now there is a bingo lane in row 
C because cow takes an S in front, so words ending double S would go in that uh, in that lane. I mentioned that for observation. Okay, my opponent has blocked the bingo lane. Tate takes nothing in front of it, but he's there's only one tile left. He doesn't have bit. There aren't. He doesn't have a bingo rack. So I'm really looking to maximise my score here. And I think, well, the obvious play which jumps out at me is this mix. I could play Limax from A4 down, but that's giving a scoring opportunity for my opponent in row A that I don't need to do. Now my opponent can play while in column 5. So maybe Limax is better. Thirty nine points. Oh well, what about add mix? Let's put this back on my rack. Well, add mix isn't really bringing anything new to the party. Mixed probably doesn't. Well, let's see what mixed scores. Forty three points, that's pretty good. And I'm clearly going to be able to play off my blank and my L. I don't think the M helps my opponent too much. I'm pretty sure slum weed isn't good. Just looking around to see if there was any anywhere else which if there is anywhere else which and take the E. Well, what about just playing the X down here? Nope. Okay, I think mixed up here is fine. I think this would survive a bingo through the I, although I'm pretty sure my opponent doesn't have one. I have blank D L. I'm sure there are plenty of places I can play out, but I've only got forty six seconds. I can play mild in row A. I'm expecting that to go. Doesn't score very much anyway. Wow, this is actually quite a tricky rack. Oh, I've got Adel in row E. That's going to score a little bit more. But my opponent could block both of those, so I need a third option. And I'm not seeing one. Well, hopefully one of those will stay available. Now I think Bowers takes an E, so I've got Dell D E L in column fourteen. And that's going to score more than the alternatives I've considered. Seventeen points. I can't see a way play a word beginning at A1. And I also can't see a way of hooking Carbo unless Carbol is good and I don't think it is. If it was I could play old. Now my opponent's got nine minutes left on his clock. There's no way he's got a bingo with the rack that he's got. You and the W are a dreadful combination. But 
that he is at liberty to use all his time looking for a playable bingo or s simply the best move now I could play lad at n6 gosh have I overlooked the tourney hook throughout the game I think I have so this is what I've just seen, lad for 18 points and the bows play has just been blocked so I think this is the best I can do but it's enough just waiting for my opponent to formally end the game which he does and final score 368 to my opponent 469 to me winning margin of 101 points let's see what I missed and let's see what my opponent has written as well bet you don't put that on YouTube playing you is like watching paint dry only less interesting hmm well I think I might put this on YouTube okay So this was my opening rack. Tenuto for 17, a whole bunch of low scoring plays. But Tenuto would have been a way of scoring well and playing off the U, so it was probably better than Tote. Good spot by my opponent, Caymans. And Cyanuret was playable. Now this is where I played Unverity as a double-double, and it wasn't good. There were no playable double-doubles. And Tourney was my move. I could also have played Unpretty in two spots. This was an awful rack. I changed, and I think changing is better than the alternatives. And this is where I had an unplayable Labourer and a whole bunch of low-scoring moves, of which Carbo was, um, was similar. Antlet for 30. Didn't consider that. That would have been nice coming down from Ant in column 8, hitting the triple word square. My play of Roulette for 12 is probably not as good as a number of those alternatives. My opponent was struggling at this point with three eyes. Fortunately, Grouped was playable for 93 points, and that was the only playable bingo, so I'm glad I didn't miss that. York for 58, looks like it was best. And, well, Sojourner at 07. Okay, 44 points, but it burns the S and it keeps the F and the N. So I think Nova for 32 is going to be uh, similar, not necessarily better or worse. So... What could I have played here? Well, I just did not consider Tourney taking an S, which is pretty awful. But my play of Fishes for 40, 43 points looks pretty good. Yeah, not, not noticeably inferior. Jar for 38 at K5, that was my play. And here there wasn't a bingo, but I could have played Ugali at B3, but that would have been given, giving floaters, and I don't think that would have been a good thing to do, so I prefer my play of Gore. Xylem at A4. Wow, placing the X on the double letter square. That would have been nice. Instead, I played mixed for 43, probably not hugely inferior. See if my opponent had anything fabulous here. He did not. And my outplay of Dahl at N4. Oh, Dahl, Jaga and Anal for 22. And instead I played Lad for 18. Okay, well, four dropped points there. Not to worry. Um, it was still a winning, a winning play by about 100 points. So, an interesting game. 
Um, poor miss of the tourney hook, but it didn't turn out to be crucial. I didn't miss a bingo in that column, but on another occasion I might, so it's important to stay aware of what the board is offering you. So I think there were a number of interesting uh, moves um, and racks to consider in that game, so I hope you enjoyed watching and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for Dweebo Vision.